In this video, we'll see how to place the DX Radio Group widget from the PhoneJS library onto a web page. This widget is a set of options displayed in the form of radio buttons, of which only one can be selected. I've already created a simple web page and added references to the following libraries, jQuery, Knockout, Globalize, and PhoneJS. I've also referenced PhoneJS styles for each platform, so that our application looks native on any platform. To demonstrate the native look and feel, I enabled the Ripple emulator. Like any widget from the PhoneJS library, the DX Radio Group widget can be added using either the jQuery, AngularJS, or Knockout approach. Here, I'm using the Knockout approach. First, we need to add the DX Radio Group widget to a page and set up a data source for it. For this purpose, I'll define the item collection in the view model and add tea, coffee, juice, etc. as items. And that's it. Let's see how Radio Group looks with the specified data. As you can see, each item shows the text field for our data source. Let's change the widget's orientation to horizontal. I'll also define the selected index configuration option to make the second item selected by default. Finally, let's show an alert message when clicking the radio group item. For this purpose, I'll define a function for the item click action option. I'll use the PhoneJS dialog alert to show data. To access the current item object, use the item data field of the function's parameter. And as you can see, we now get information about a certain item when clicking it. And that's it. Thanks for watching, and thank you for choosing DevExpress.